Dr. Bajaj. I, I almost thought you were proving Professor Shivgankar right that industry has no place in this forum, and we come in as like a guard cut dibba as a afterthought. I hope it's not true. And I must I must acknowledge both Professor Shivgankar and of course Professor Sajjad Pudey, both of whom of course come from my city of Pune. And I think there's been some amazing work done in our city and since then nationally in what we've seen as good academia industry partnerships. So let me put on two hats and comment on make comment on two points. One is of course what you mentioned, Preeti, about uh, digital India, and I think it's only going to happen because if you look at the digital India document, I don't know how many of you have seen the one trillion dollar opportunity, which we actually created as a combination of NASCOM and the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and McKinsey Global Institute, and it clearly documents nine thematics through which the country has to progress to become that trillion dollar economy. And one of the very core issues is education and skills, because we've already already seen in this recent migrant worker problem that you know we just didn't have enough jobs of any quality to create in rural India. So I think the distribution of jobs and hence the availability of skills exchanges and marketplaces for skills is extremely critical. And I think we have to make that happen. I am delighted with two or three things in the NEP. One is of course the whole focus on interoperability. and i'm sure many of you will remember that we have talked about bwoc courses in the past but somehow in this country we've been unable to give skills or skills qualifications the same degree of credence or relevance as is still given to a degree and i hope that at somewhere with this no silos this whole outcome based education focus we'll make that happen also delighted that the national skills qualification framework and the national higher education qualification framework will be synchronized in whatever manner that all of you see fit i think that will really help industry in ensuring that we have outstanding candidates coming in who do not need 6 months of kind of training before they get on to the job that's important 